hey guys i hope you're doing well and welcome back to another video so in this one we are going to look at how we can transform our characters bones like this using keys on the keyboard here as you can see i am able to adjust the scale of the head bone by pressing e on the keyboard you can use this effect to make cool things in your games and projects so let's jump right in and see how we can set this up by the way if you're interested in learning how to make a complete first person zombie shooter game in unreal engine 5 using blueprints check out my new course in this course you will start with the basics of unreal engine and blueprints then you will learn the animation framework in unreal next we'll create all the animations we need using control rigs and finally you will put everything together and build a fully functional game it includes seven weapons, a hot, win and lose conditions, ammo pickups, enemy AI, and a wave-based game mode. Check out the link in the description. Alright, so the idea here is to transform our bones from our animation blueprint. Here I am inside a third-person template, and this is my third-person character. It's using this skeletal mesh and as you probably know you can open up your skeletal mesh play with the transform of the meshes and the bones but it's not going to take place when you play the game and it will snap back to its default values so it's not the way to go here in order to make these effects we need to work in our animation blueprint so here in our animation mode we are using the animation blueprint and the anim class is this so let's open up our animation blueprint and all you need to do is to go to your anim graph which looks like this and if you can't find it it's somewhere here so select one of these go back to your anim graph here make some real state disconnect this line right click and search for transform modify bone this is the node that we want to work with so let's plug it in and now as you can see when i select this here in the details tab i can define the translation the rotation and the scale of the bone that we want to work with so here we have these bones and for example let's go with the head bone so the name is head I'm going to set my bone to modify on head and now for example if we play with the scale and bump it up to 2 you can see that nothing happens because you need to define what to do with the settings here for the scale you can see that we have a scale mode and it's set on ignore but we don't want to ignore the scale we want to add the scale to existing so set it to add to existing and now as you can see it is working and the bone is scaled you can do the same for the translation and rotation for example for the translation again let's set it on add and then add 50 centimeters to the head or maybe 30 and now as you can see when i compile and play the translation and the scale is taking place and i can have an effect like this all right now let's say that we want to apply this by pressing keys on the keyboard so here we need to communicate between our third person character and our animation blueprint here as you can see we have the values and instead of hard coding the values we can define variables and control the variables with our third person character so let's set back everything on zero and actually your scale should be on one and work on our communication between our character and animation blueprint so here in our event graph you can see that we have these nodes these are the default nodes of the template and here as you can see it's casting to character so it works but 
a problem here is that it's not casting to our third person character so if we define a variable here we will not be able to access it from this area so this is just a quick setup to see how we can uh, do the transition but uh, of course based on your project and your animation blueprint and character setup you can set your casting but here just for now i'm going to add another cast and this time i'm going to cast to my third person character connect the object and then promote this to a variable as you can see it's as bp third person character i have done it before so i have two variables here so let's delete them all and do it again and plug it in and now using this reference i am able to access the variables inside my third person character all right now i want to define a key in my third person character and then define a variable and using that i want to control the values of these here so all you need to do is to first define a float variable in your third person character so again just create a variable name it head scale set it on float and then here let's define a key for example let's go with e here you can use enhanced input actions as well but for now i'm just gonna use this old input system in unreal and when i press e i want to set my variable on three so default value for the head scale should be one and when i press e i want to set it on three and when i press again i want to set it back on one so here another set with a flip-flop will do the job so for the first time we press e it will set it on three next it will set it on one and so on all right now here we have a variable and next we need to define a variable here and set the variable based on this so here again you need a variable here so create a variable this time let's name it abp for animation blueprint to not mess it up with the other one abp head scale it's also a float and now here as you can see in our event graph we have the reference and from this reference we are able to access this so here get head scale and then let's set our abp head scale based on this now here we need to plug this to our event blueprint update animation so it updates on every frame and it checks the head scale value in our third person and if it changes then this head scale is changed and now we need to use this for our values here so let's grab this then let's split our scale and plug this in now the default value is one but when i press e it will go to three and when i press it again it will go back to one And if you want a smooth transition between the scales, you can use a timeline. So let's go to our third person character and here, instead of snapping it to different scales, use a timeline. So here, drag of a wire, add a timeline. Add timeline. Let's open it up define a float 
and the float should be about two seconds so this is the length of our timeline hold shift and left click to add a node here another one to add here the first one should go from zero and one so the default value is one and the next should be on two and the value should be on three so first we start with one and after two seconds we go to three you can also select them both right click and hit auto to make this curve and this will give you a very smooth and cool looking transition and now we need to use this to set our scale so here let's delete this and again set but this time set it on this new track here and plug it in and now if i hit e we can see that it goes like this but if i hit e again it doesn't go back so let's go here and for our flip-flop we are going to plug our b output to reverse so as soon as we hit e again it will reverse our timeline and yeah this is how you can set this up you can work with the translation the rotation and of course you can work with the other bones as well here we are setting this for the head but you can do this for all of your bones in your project yeah that's it this is a very easy and quick way to adjust the transform of the bones of your characters that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.